Hello there, Sir from 17 once again. This is my Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 All Six Scores video walkthrough. This is the final level, it is the Asteroid Belt. Uh, you might have noticed there's also a level called Mountain. Uh, there's no achievements for playing that level and getting scores on it, so I'm not going to bother because, you know what, this game's just not worth my time. It truly isn't. So here is the first of the hidden items, there was the DVD. Here is the tape. And the hardest thing about this level is getting used to how it plays and putting up with just how poorly it performs mechanically. The frame rate here is horrible. The rails here do not work correctly. Sometimes they'll chuck you off randomly, other times they'll keep you on when they shouldn't. All kinds of bullshit, like ones where you're meant to go around a corner and they'll throw you off straight forward when that's not how they're designed to work. Like, so many weird bullshit moments. And on top of that, it has the hardest objective in the game for me personally, which is to collect a bunch of bullshit and then run it back, which is always one of the tricky ones. Um, and the high score on this level is high as well, so if you're not very good at getting crazy scores, you might struggle with that. But combos, actually pretty good, but you'll notice we've got crazy moon physics on our board, which is a power-up you can get, and a lot of the missions are designed around it, and it just kind of fucking sucks. Like, low frame rate, bouncy madness, Tons of pitfalls, terrible level design, like, so much of it I just hate. However, some of the objectives here are not bad. You know, there could have been much worse considering just how stupid this level is. And it sucks as well because I wanted really ambitious and crazy levels, and the one kind of crazy ambitious level they designed, they made it completely horrible and not very fun at all to play. And I'm sure there's somebody out there that really likes this level and thinks it's great, but uh, that person just, no, we will never get on. But we're destroying crystals at the moment. Once again, I don't really know where they all are, so I'm just going to crossfade between me searching for them. And um, you can just kind of triangulate where they are from the video if you're, if you're needing to find one. But I don't think anybody will be using these videos for the crystals. Because the collectibles are just kind of something that you do. It's the scores and things that are what are going to throw people off. And even then, a lot of the time, it's just finding the lines. And that's probably what people are going to be looking at this video for the most. So here's the first one. Get 5 million. The last one I did, uh, 4.9 million, so I was a little bit off. Let's see if we can improve that. If you hit that middle thing at the very beginning, it will give you bounce physics on your board, so you can do stupid weird shit like this in the air. And all I'm going to do here, you notice how I've got my special at the beginning? I'm going to use my special to build a ton of points, a nice reservoir of currency, and then I'm going to do a ton of flip kicks to build my multiplier and cash them in. And at this point, I went back to the statistics, I dropped my grind and my manual a little bit because I kept falling off the rail and fucking up and dropping multipliers because this game's a piece of shit and this level's horrible. And I put all of it into vert and spin. So you'll notice I'm spinning and I'm going much higher than I normally would on top of the uh, crazy physics of this level. And, and also, you can spam the grab moves to, to build up combo too, but they take a little bit longer but they do give you more points. It's entirely up to you guys how you want to play, but... A mixture of all of the styles is a fantastic choice. It's just right now I don't trust the manual and I don't trust the grind. Because manual, I took points out of it so it's not going to be as easy to do. And grinding killed my combo every single time I tried uh, when I was in free skate. So I just didn't want to bother with it. But right now we've got a 77 multiplier. Which is going to be pretty high when we cash this in. Cashed it in then, 5,533,000. So we got the entire score in one combo. Which... It's not that tricky to do, guys. Just practice, just understand how the mechanics work, and uh, godspeed. Okay, folks, next mission. What is it? Another one of the head ones. Good god. Who is it that thinks this head one is so enjoyable? Like, in its defense, at least it allows you to just kind of trick and skate and do the things that were fun in these games. But I just think it's such a... a stupid, easy, like, cashed-in objective it could be something so much more interesting like it could be another score give us a score but gimp us in some way like how come there's no mission objective where you have to essentially play horse it could have been do these tricks in a single combo and it could have reeled off a bunch of grabs a bunch of sp spins a bunch of flips a bunch of manuals and a bunch of grinds and that way you'd have to figure out what all the buttons did and then you'd realise just how shit the game is because half the time it does what it fucking wants, especially when you're in your special. <laughs> there you go again with weird landing. Should have never landed that, but I did. Happens all the time as well. 
just weird physics moment. And it used to happen in the old games, but there was no way you would land something like that all the time, as much as you do in this. There's this weird autocorrect that it does. There's also a weird thing on this mission too. There's portals you can go through, but when they throw you out the other side, they can throw you out askew. And when you try to correct your position so you can land better, the controls are all weirdly inverted, and there's times when you just can't move your body enough to land properly, and it's an in it's a guaranteed fall. And I was using a strategy on collecting the space marshmallows, or whatever the hell they are, that involved going through two teleporters, which could get you a, a guaranteed, like, ten extra items, but I could never guarantee that I was going to land out of them, because it was random. You could go into it perfectly straight, and it'd throw you out on tilt. Like, stupid, stupid stuff. But there we go. And now we need to do a six score, which involves grinding. So there are a couple of balls here that can be grinded, and you can go all the way around them if you know when to jump. So you're going to see me build up some multiplier doing the vert stuff, and then from here I'm going to jump across this opening, I'm going to manual, and then I'm going to jump again, I'm going to grind. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I know this level quite well, and you're going to need to understand the principles of this area and how you can fall off the grind on this part just now, all the time, because this is where you're going to be doing that mission that took me two hours. And believe you me, you're going to get an appreciation for the level design a little bit better because you have to, because if you don't, you're not going to get the objective and you're going to get really mad. But even then, I still hate this level, it can suck a dick. But there was the score, folks, 10,000 points. Got 12,000 in that one combo you just watched. And then we get another ring one. So this ring one suffers because of the level. It took me a good 10 to 15 attempts, and I'll, I'll tell you why. So, after this, landing on this, and then landing on the next one, there are times when it'll just fall off that rail. This bit here, there are times where it'll go around the corner even after you jump. Right here, he will fall off that rail, he'll fall off that rail. See him fall then on that fucking rail? I'm actually riding on the rail there, I wasn't grinding. And then coming back, he falls on this rail as well, which can throw you off. You see him, he did it just then, but I managed to ride it. This bit coming up, when you jump up to this top bit, you can sometimes just hit that pipe and it stops you. And then jumping onto this, to this next one, you just fall. Sometimes he just falls, it never works. So much bullshit, dude. And this, watch this. Not high enough. Almost fucked it up. Can you believe that? <laughs> Oh, you will never understand the horror of that mission until you've hit those rails and you've fallen off them when you did everything right. And you didn't kiss the rail, you were on the middle of it, but it chucked you off because it's a bag of dog shit. And then there's this. A minute and 20 seconds to clear two pools full of critters eggs. And you can do this so quick, it makes you wonder who the hell programmed the time limit, because it's just absolutely insane. It's wonderful, because it's lenient, but the, there's no other missions that are as lenient as these ones. It's almost like they didn't realise you could do what I'm doing when you bash the trigger and you go super fast and you knock them over really easy. Like, we've almost cleared this pool, and we've had 30 seconds, which means if we do the same performance, which wasn't especially great, on the next pool, that means a minute tops to do it, and that's 20 seconds leeway. Look, I'm falling off like a douche, because it's there's no risk here. I don't even know where the other eggs are, to be honest, because this is my first attempt at this mission. I'm riding off, I don't know where they are, I'm guessing they're on the other side because there's another pool. I'm at 50 seconds, this should not be a 6 score, and lo and behold, I start smashing them and it's a piece of piss. Completely contradictory, hypocritical, like straight up, just bipolar design. Like if the mission, where I was stuck on for 2 hours, had even 10 seconds more on the timer, I would have done it first time. If you had to have 10 less items to put in the center, I would have done it first time. This mission, it gives you like 40 seconds you don't need. It's just baffling. But this is it. Pudding, pack, panic. This is the hardest one in the game. You have to get... I can't even read it on the screen, it looks all weird and shit. You have to get a lot. So many fucking puddings. And the strategy that I use involves intentionally coming off rails, because the game does it anyway, because it's a bag of shit, and then hitting the middle of this, and then from here going back onto the rail, and then jumping back into the centre. If you jump off this the other way, through the teleporter, it can put you into the pools on the left. Each of them has five packets inside of them. And I'm certain that there's a strategy that can use that. However, I could not get a good run, and I mentioned earlier that you fall out of the teleporter, it makes you fall over, you can't really auto-correct it. 
and it's just really frustrating. So I ended up doing it this way, which worked out okay. It could have been better, and in the end, I do have to manual to get to the end, but whatever you do to do this, just do it, because fuck me, I hate every moment of this. And this is what the... Is, there's like three objectives after this. The next three objectives took me maybe five minutes to beat all of them. This one, two hours. Ugh. But it's done now, and hopefully you do it first time and you're like, I don't know why you had any trouble, Chris. I thought it was easy, and that's wonderful, but I really didn't. I had so many issues where he fell off rails, he didn't even grind to begin with, like, so much bullshit. That was scary. That was really scary. But we did it. And now, I need five. Five more, I think, to do this. And I know, just from playing, that if I go around this little semicircle, I can get five on these early rails. But that right there, that one can throw you off. You need to be super careful and know exactly how to land on it. And then right now, this manual is dangerous, but there it was. If you can do that quickly, I'm so happy for you. If you have the trouble I had, I feel for you. It, it blows dick. It blows big, fat, dirty monkey dick. Like, it's so nasty. And then there's this, like, destroy these robots, which literally takes one attempt because it's super easy. And the last mission, you spent so long grinding these pools that you know exactly how they work. So it's it's just really, really easy. Of course, you just you still want to go fast and what have you, but, like, look at this compared. This is a really nice line and a really well-designed mission. That last one is horrible. There just doesn't seem to be enough puddings. And I fell off the rail, and you see that bullshit? Completely fell off it. Did, did I... What did I do there? Did I jump? No. I pressed Y to grind, and then he, for some reason he kissed the rail and then rode the piece of shit, because this game is trash. But combo constellations? You need to get, what was that, a million? You need to get quite high off of something. 30 seconds. Best thing to do, get inside one of the pools. Get in the pool, start hitting that vert, start spinning, start reverting into manuals. Get it really high and then just cash it in. You'll notice then I did like 50 pop shove -its, which is really quick to do just to build that multiplier. I'm doing a couple of grabs there to, to build the score. Just simple grabs, nothing too special. There's the revert. So we're out of time now. So if I drop my combo, I have to own it. So hopefully we won't do that and we'll keep building this and hopefully get that high score. A better strategy for these if you're struggling is do some easy s stunts at the beginning to get your special. Then, build your multiplier really, really high, and then use your special to cash it in. And there you go, 1,061,000. So, it's a pretty high score off of one combo, but at this point, if you can get 5 million in 2 minutes, you should be able to do that, I believe. And then there's Defy Gravity. This is a piece of piss! Get points by going vertical, which is what you've been doing the entire game, and this level has moon physics if you pick up that power up which you have to go into one of the portals to get it so you're going to spot me I'm going to jump over this into the portal and I have the ability now to moon jump like this will literally take you one attempt it's so disjointed the dislocation is real and then from here just do what we just did on that last mission like the last mission is harder than this it just doesn't make sense you've got a minute like you've got like nearly two fucking minutes to get a super piss easy score absolute madness absolute madness but the good news is it's fun this is where Tony Hawk really excels getting high scores and doing what the game does well which in this case is the vert because the grinding whew, not even gonna get into it hate it but we've done it we've already done it like there you go 35 seconds left I really struggled on that the last one ugh, the puddings barely had any time left and I'm still grinding and working my ass off to do it but that one 30 seconds left 30 seconds. I'm so incensed. The outrage. <laughs> I didn't see what that was. Or oh, Tony says, so this is essentially the one troll mission away from having done everything. Because if you get a ton of stalls and a ton of bullshit, you can't get your multiplier high enough. So this is just RNG, will the game let me get the score bullshit. And luckily for me, I get a ton of flips and it helps me out big time. A couple of grinds, be careful with the grinds because once again it's easy to fall off and it's easy to get dropped off a grind because the game doesn't work. But nose pick is a stall, so 
bear that in mind. It can be tricky to get into the stalls. There's something that not a lot of people even know how to do because it was one of those things where um, they were always in the Tony Hawk's games, but not that many people did them. And they, they can be really good at, at doing, you know, getting high multipliers with because you can revert out of them into a manual and continue your combo, and they give you a lot of points. But I've never been the biggest fan of them, so I never really do them. But we've already done it, and that's the end, guys. We uh, finally defeated this demon. So, I hope you don't have any issue with the ones I had issues with. I hope this walkthrough helps you beat the ones you're struggling at. And I hope that once you're done with this game, you can get your money back in some reparation way, because you've wasted it, unfortunately, on something that you sh really should have been served better. But that's just not the world we live in. Tony Hawk as a franchise is in real trouble now, and I don't think many people will be looking towards the next one with any kind of hope. And it's a shame, because they really were something special, and I think the gaming culture at this moment in time could really do with a new Tony Hawk that redefines it and makes it fun again. But this is not that game. But there you go. Thank you very much for watching, and you take care now.